You've seen them in your neighborhood and in public areas. Substations transform voltage from high to low or from low to high. Substations are usually safe to be around, but during a fault, the voltage level of the ground rises, possibly making it unsafe for passers-by. Voltage propagates outward, and if an external fence is connected, the voltage transfers to that fence. To mitigate these issues, a UBC capstone group worked in partnership with BC Hydro to ensure public safety during these faults. We modeled the substation using grounding software called WinRGS. We experimented with substation fence designs, soil composition, and surfacing to determine recommended safe distances for people. The team also worked with fence insulators. When the substation voltage rises, an insulator is the only equipment blocking the hazardous voltage from transferring to external fences. The voltage across the insulator is 5,000 volts. By comparison, execution by electrocution is 2,000 volts. The insulator has to work. We confirmed the insulator's capabilities to block voltages at the UBC High Voltage Lab. We proved that in the insulator's application, it can withstand 20,000 volts, four times greater than the Canadian Electrical Code requirements. Bob Stewart, a principal engineer at BC Hydro, discussed the results of this project. Uh, BC Hydro benefited from participating in the capstone project in two ways. One, we gave back to the community. The other one, we actually get a problem or issue looked at that we don't have the resources to look at ourselves. This project provided real-world experience in the power industry to these UBC students. The client and the students have ensured sound substation design moving forward. Through the work of this capstone project, will public safety be improved? Yes, definitely.